Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and today I've got another Two Minute Tuesday tip, trick, or tutorial. Uh, today's video is a pre-recorded one. Uh, right now I'm probably uh, on my vacation doing a road trip down the west coast to California. That's why with this video I kind of want to talk about uh, folder structures with CAD files and uh, kind of the importance of how how helpful and useful it be, can be to set up a folder structure that works for you and to stick with it. By using a folder structure that everyone on your team is familiar with and sticks to, uh, when you leave for vacation like I did, uh, anybody else on your team is going to be able to pick up a project, find the files they need, uh, figure out how you kind of laid them out, find source files, or just find PDFs of your drawings. Uh, this makes it easy to work with teams, uh, for other members to work on the project at the same time, or if a manager or an engineer just needs to find something, they know where it's going to be. So I've already uh, kind of written a bit about this in my ebook, uh, A Productivity Guide, uh, which you can check out in the description. Um, so I'm going to link to that as well as a blog post where you can download my folder structure. Uh, but let's get going. Two minutes on the clock, and here we go. So you can see here, I'm in a generic projects folder that I've set up. This would be where you keep all of your projects. Um, and in it, I've got my template saved. So to start a new project, all I have to do, because I've got this underscore here, it's always going to be at the top of the list, is select it, copy, and paste using Control C and V, and then hit F2 or right click and rename it, job number or project number or the date uh, or, or uh, a place or name for the project. Let's say this is a city of Vancouver project. However you organize your projects, that's not going to change. But what is, is all the folders that are going to come with it. Now I know most people are going to have kind of a default that they copy and paste. Uh, I'm just going to show you how I use mine and kind of a few folders to consider having. So I always have an output folder in my structure. Uh, this is anything that's leaving your office. If you're going to send a file, save it into this folder and then send that link or just for your record, uh, you'll have it in the output folder so you know what you've sent. I always add the date year, month, day, so that it organizes them in the correct order, and then a description of who, it, who it's going to and what it is. This will make sure you can always figure out if you've sent that file to somebody. So I save my PDFs, e-transmits, uh, surface files, XMLs, whatever you're going to be sending to somebody, it goes in the output folder. So next up would be the CAD folder, and this is where everything CAD related is going to be saved. And that includes your civil 3D data, or if you're using Revit, Revit data, uh, SolidWorks, anything else. You're gonna keep, I keep uh, a folder for my shortcuts for services. You're gonna want a data folder. This is where you can save anything that you've, uh, you're gonna link into your CAD drawings that aren't, um, that aren't like XRefs. So in it, I've got database files, images, shapes. You can add folders and add those to your template. Production is where I'm going to keep all my DWGs that make up my drawings. Uh, and these are my finished sheet drawings, uh, figures, whatever you call them. And then references are the files that are going to make up those drawings. And this could be uh, geo-referenced images, xrefs go in the drawing folder. And you can add folders here if you bring in other stuff. Source is an important one. It's where you're going to save all incoming files. And again, like the output, you're going to add the date, who it's from, and what it is. And this way, you've always got a record of all of the files you've used to build up a project. And I never link to those. I always copy them into a reference folder and then copy them into your drawing or reference them in. And then also in this folder here, you've got the sheet set file. Uh, this will be a default kind of blank template sheet set I use. And I'll rename it and set it up for each project. So there you can see a really quick overview of how I organize my file structure and how you can uh, to be better organized as well as make it easy for anybody to use your projects. 
Again, like I mentioned, I cover this along with a lot of other uh, helpful productivity tips in my ebook, which you can get in the description below on Amazon. And don't forget, if you've got any questions at all, uh, leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here. Make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.